I want to work for this child's sake. I'll work hard too, so please. Thank you so much for hiring me. No thank you, business is booming. We're fully booked. It's not good if we don't. My name is Keiichi Sato. I run the Tokimeki Inn, but... It's bad luck that the Failing Inn was featured on TV at this time. All of our customers are going there instead. But don't worry, I'm thinking carefully about what we'll do next. But even if I say that, we have to come up with something. We can't prepare a suite specifically for stargazing like Hopeless Inn. No, this is no time to be whining. Are you the guest who made the reservation? Sorry, we don't have a reservation. My name is Noah Inua. I want to work here for her sake. I'll do my best, so please give us a chance. Work here? But first, what happened to your clothes? I started running, then tripped, and got all covered in mud. I'm sorry, we shouldn't come to the end looking like this. Excuse us. Please wait a moment. Would you like to take a bath here? Huh? We met here for a reason, so please. Thank you, big brother. Can I ask what happened? It's a bit embarrassing. I got alimony from my ex-husband, but it's not enough. I don't have any parents, so I was looking for a live-in job. I went to an interview at the Hopeless Inn, but they didn't really consider me. Actually, I used to work in a hotel before. If you have one, could you please show me your resume? I see. You certainly have experience working in a hotel and have been in customer service for a while. Big Brother, I'll do my best to help. Haha, <laughs> Rena, will you do your best with your mom from now on? Yeah, I will. Does that mean? I look forward to working with you, Noah and Rena. How are your bookings going? Looks like you're fully booked, Naoki. Business seems to be booming. To be honest, it's tough to attract guests in such a rural area, right? But because it's the countryside, I saw the potential in how beautiful the stars could look. Since then, celebrities have come to stay, and it was even featured on TV, so now we're super popular. Keiichi, are you managing alright? Hey, don't worry about Keiichi Zen. It's charming in its own way. Huh? You look familiar. Thank you for interviewing me the other day. Ah, I remember now. You're Noah, the one who wanted to work and live here. I was really surprised when you came to the interview with your kid. I explained my situation in advance, and you said it was fine for me to bring my child. But when I got to the interview, you wouldn't even listen to my story or look at my resume. You just told me to leave. In the service industry, you should pay attention to your appearance. Naoki, that's not a nice thing to say. Even so, not listening to someone who came for an interview seems wrong, doesn't it? As a fellow business owner, I mean. What? Maybe you can say that once your inn is as popular as mine. I think KG is a fantastic manager. Naoki, your inn is certainly attractive with its planetarium, but... I also read reviews mentioning the poor customer service. As your popularity grows, you have to deal with all kinds of customers. Keiichi's Inn had such a warm and kind atmosphere. It made me want to stay there forever. Please don't talk like that again. But if nobody's booking rooms, nobody gets to experience the wonderful service, right? Thanks for your concern, Naoki. But maybe you should just focus on your own inn. We'll manage on our own. Why should I have to put up with that kind of talk? Hm? <laughs> Thank you. No, no. I was just saying what I thought. What's wrong, Rena? What? Thank you so much for hiring me. No problem. Thanks to you, we're super busy. Fully booked. Excuse me, KG. There's someone here insisting on speaking with you. Pardon? Why are my reservations dropping off a cliff? Rena, sorry, but we need to have an important discussion. Do you want to play with Kuro for a bit? Okay, come on, Rena. Got it. What's this all about? I want to know why your place is suddenly fully booked. I read online that you're booked six months in advance. Isn't that none of your business? Of course, it's my business. If Keiichi's Inn is getting all the customers, my reservations will naturally drop off. 
If your inn is appealing, then your guests shouldn't decrease, but just spread out. What was that? Don't you know? Yeah, I saw it. It was the special on TV, right? About how a kind-hearted innkeeper saved our family. You already know about it. Being called a kind-hearted manager was a bit embarrassing, but... I took the opportunity to talk about the charms of my inn. And the guests who became interested made reservations. All because of just that? Ah, uh, no, don't. Keiichi is having an important talk with Naoki right now, Kuro. Meow. Why is there a cat at the inn? If this gets out, it'll be a huge problem. That's not true. This cat is family to us. Family? About a month ago, Rena spotted the cat here at the inn. I kept an eye on it, but there was no sign of the mother cat or any siblings nearby. So it seemed dangerous to leave it alone. So you're taking care of it here at the inn? That's right. That's also why the name of kind-hearted manager has stuck. Meow. But having animals at the inn is... He's the mascot cat. <laughs> He's the mascot cat, after all. Actually, with this new development, we've started renovations to make this inn pet-friendly. What? Right now, it's just a separate building, but we're planning to promote the inn as a place where guests can stay with their pets in the future. I see. So that's why you're getting more popular. I need to figure out how to bounce back before they take all the customers. I'll take my leave. What the hell is that brother doing here? Hmm? He's here to see Kuro. Kuro is just so adorable. Jeez, if he said so, I would have let him pet Kuro. Did you finish talking? Things will get bad if this keeps up. I need to come up with some ideas. This inn is really popular right now. What? Having a cat and hiring a struggling family? That's pointless. What do you mean, pointless? Wait a minute. Could this help improve our image? Maybe it's worth it. You've been irritable lately, but that's going too far. You can't tell me this isn't some sort of publicity stunt. If you really want to pet the cat, I'll let you. How about you come to my inn? I have an autograph from the voice actor of Pretty Cure. Cats are cuter. No way! If you're just here to say that, please leave. I was planning on it. Let's go, Saori. Naoki, at least apologize. You dropped something, brother. It's probably just a receipt or something. You can have it. Rina, can you show that to me? What is this? A few days passed without any problems and we stayed busy. Then one day... I hear that you're getting popular for rescuing a dog through social media. What? Did you come all the way here just to check out my inn? You've been doing your little publicity stunts, but we really did rescue this dog. Cute, right? This is our inn's mascot dog. It's not a publicity stunt. It's all true. Anyway, I've got something important to discuss. Got a moment? Something important? All right, all right. Pochi will play later. You really are kind, aren't you? Hehe. <laughs> Just as planned. Are you sure you have time now? Yeah, I'll show you inside. Let's go, KG. This is about the postcard you dropped the other day. Did that even exist? When you were at our inn the other day, you left something behind, didn't you? Oh yeah, I think I remember something like that. Take a look at this postcard. What the heck is this? Wait, what? Hold on. Why do you have this, Keiichi? Because you dropped it the other day, didn't you? Have you updated your business license? Of course I have. If I hadn't updated my license, that would be a huge problem. Did you go yourself to update it? Obviously. I wouldn't forget something so important. I made sure to take care of it personally. Anyway, just give me that postcard. Then you have the updated license with you right now, right? Uh, of course I do. But I don't have to show it to you. I don't even know why you're assuming I didn't update it. Noah just thought it might be possible. In recent days, your inn has been very popular. Adopting a mascot dog has only made you busier, hasn't it? Are you saying you personally took care of renewing the license during all that? Stop making me repeat myself. 
I've already said I updated it properly. That's it. Can you please leave now? You're really not going to admit it, huh? We have more evidence than just this postcard. Evidence? Not long after I found the postcard, one of your employees came to our inn. Who, who was it? I can't tell you their name. What did they say? What did they tell you? They told me you haven't updated the business license. And you just believed this unknown employee? They said that they tried to talk to you about renewing it, but you were too busy to pay attention. Once they realized it had expired, you tried to blame it on them. They quit because they couldn't keep working for you, knowing you'd make them take the fall. They probably wanted to get back at me for quitting the inn and made up some ridiculous story. So you'll need a barrier to keep your dog out of the kitchen. Since you were so busy when you adopted the dog, were you able to make those adjustments? Yeah, well... Noah said that her last job was at a hotel with an attached dog run. She said they went through some pretty thorough inspections. The inn got more popular, and you got busier, and then you decided to adopt a dog. Did you really finish that kind of construction work so quickly, and still manage to update everything? I did. Everything was taken care of. We were adopting a dog, so I got a friend to help out, and we got the work done that day. You finished construction in one day? That seems unlikely. You'd have customers staying there, right? Construction would be noisy. And kitchen work isn't exactly simple to pull off, either. I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong, so get out of here. Okay, then just show me the updated business permit. If you can show me that, there's no need for this back and forth. I don't see why I should have to show it to you. Because it would make this conversation so much quicker. Or is there something you can't show us? In the first place, what if the business permit lapsed for a month? I just forgot for a bit. It's no problem. I can update it right away. So you admit that you didn't renew it on time? I'm saying that there are people who forget about renewals, you know? Like what if they got busy or sick or something? How could you be running a business without even knowing that? If you didn't renew it, that's unlicensed operation. You could face up to two years in prison or a fine of up to two million yen. I did it properly. I see. If you insist, I'll report it to the authorities myself. What? They can investigate it thoroughly. What gives you the right to do something like that? It's not uncommon for a rival business to report something like this, right? I'm sorry. Please don't report me. I'll renew it right away. Like you said, I was just busy and didn't have the time to do it. I thought I had asked another employee to take care of it, but there was some miscommunication and it wasn't done. There's no point in apologizing to us. Please, just keep this a secret. I can't do that as a fellow inn owner. You're deceiving your customers. You're acting like that when I'm the one bowing my head? It's because your place has a mascot cat that I'm in this situation. Could you stop blaming others for your problems? That's why I thought we should have a mascot dog, too. But then they told me I needed barriers to keep it out of the kitchen. I couldn't get it done in time. That's what I'm saying is the problem. I heard everything outside. Sorry. Help me out here. Bow your head with me, so these two will... You really think they'll forgive you after the way you've acted? Just because you apologized? Saori? So was that stuff about a rescue dog a lie too? Well, yes, it was a lie. I'm disgusted. I can understand if you were just stressed out from being busy, but to use a living thing as a marketing ploy. Keiji, Noah, please report this to the authorities. Even you're abandoning me, Sayori? I can't stand liars. Goodbye. Lying to get attention won't get you anywhere, Naoki. Oh no! After that, Naoki's unauthorized business activities were exposed, and the inn went under. The dog is now being cared for by Saori. I can't pay off this ridiculous debt! And now I'm being sued for running an unlicensed business! Arg! Noah, you have a long vacation coming up, so come hang out with us. Not without you, big brother. But me? Would you like to come along too? Sh sure.
Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.